have a look at the shit that's come out of the car. So that's that was on the steering, and I know why. Hey, welcome back to Flip My Ride, everybody. It's been a while. I've been lazy and I've been a bit crook. That's why nothing's been done. The doctor is not happy. The doctor in the house is not happy. He's seen that nothing's been done and it's filthy still in there. So I've got to uh, pull my finger out of my butt and crank into that today. We're going to pull out that interior uh, and rip out the carpet. We're going to put the new carpet in and we're going to look at some shockies that I put on as well. So stick around. Oh, thank you to all of the new subscribers. Since Christmas, I've grown by 40 odd subscribers. We've now hit 130. Fantastic. And the first video of the Peugeot has cracked over 500 views in its uh, was four or five weeks. So I'm chuffed with that. Thank you very much. Now let's get into it. All right, let's get everyone up to date. Boxing day, I replaced the rear shock absorbers. Not too difficult. Undo the top bolt, drop the bottom bolt, and uh, she's away. I'm just reducing the, or shrinking the strut down so that I can actually fit it out at the bottom of the car. A couple of light taps with the persuader there, boom boom. Out with the old, in with the new. Alright, I've got to do that bottom bolt first. With the new shocky in place, line up all the bolt holes using a bit of force if necessary. The one goes in. Ooh. Gotcha. Right. Took a bloody effort. With the bolt back in, nip it up nice and tight. I didn't have the correct tools at this point in time, but I did tighten it up later on. So while I was working away, I felt fine, but from nowhere, out of nowhere, I suddenly had an attack of vertigo. Quite literally, the garage and the car were spinning around and around and around. I couldn't leave it, so I thought I'd push on. Taking a little time out, came back later on and continued. We jacked up the rear subframe. This is to help force the shocky, or the rear strut, whatever you want to call it, up into its position. Uh, it wasn't quite high enough, so I had to wiggle it about uh, and jack it up a little bit more. Grab the plate, the washers, throw the nut on, tighten her up. Now, I tensioned it down to resemble what I'd removed. Tighten that up, and then we throw the lock nut on, and uh, she's all good. Drop the jack and watch it settle into place. There you go, sitting the rubber into place. All right, shockies are done. In. Hopefully, I did it correctly. It's not too hard, it's not uh, brain surgery. All right, first of all, we've got to pull out the seats. Um, I was, just before Christmas, I was starting on the driver's seat. I gave up on that, so I'm going to start on the rear seat today and uh, pull that out. Then we'll take all the trims off, the plastic trims. Then I'll get the front and uh, front seats out. See how we go. The, the only thing I'm really worried about is plastics and breaking them. I was going to pull all the door trims off, but I think I'm going to leave them on as much as possible. I will be painting the carpet strips on all the doors. I've got some. Uh, dye to spray that Most seats you'll find just down here. There's usually a bolt Through a little loop on both sides undo that and the seat should come out. So this here. Let me have a look It's just got a strap there, right? So I'm gonna pop those straps completely off one on each side That should come out Then we'll start on these. Let's go. So I've popped the two straps off. Let's take this one out. Most cars are the same. See, the straps here. We'll get this out of the way. Underneath here, hard to see, there's a hook. And the seat has a um, 
strap, I guess. I'll show you in a sec. So I've lifted, lift those hooks up on both sides. There's the other one. There we go. All right. So I'm guessing that they go up. Look at that. Pretty good. So if we look at the back of the seat, see our, our shaped foam. That hooks over this. This hooks over this one, and there's a little tiny hook down the bottom there for the for this. I peeled that one up, lifted the whole lot up, and up she comes. So it'll be the same on the other side. There we go. That's pretty straightforward. So I need to take these plastic shrouds off now on the edges. Alright, that pops up, oops, that slides off, that enables me to get around the handbrake, and voila, we have a piece out. Now that was an effort, that was just the first front seat. But now I know how to do it, the second one will be easier. So the car has provided me with a little bit of income. And we got five cents, 20 cents. We might take this whole section out and get that a clean separately. So we've got the one. It is steamy, hot, <laughs> sweating. I will get into the other one and uh, maybe the rest of the console pull all that carpet out and give it a bit of a clean happy days Okay, uh, first one took like Christmas <laughs> to get out. Oh, shit all over my face. That one took me 13 minutes. So I just got to show you, we've got to get that first one out. And I kept um, giving up on the one I attempted at Christmas. Have a look at this. We've got a complete frame and it sits on, on this. So that whole frame, Let's have a look and we can tip it over. So, bolts this side to the, um, that's the passenger, so that's to the side wall of the car, where the doors are. Whole frame, that bolts underneath your legs there. And then we've got another plate on this side that bolts onto the, um, the tunnel. So if we have a look inside, she is feral. Yucky, yucky. Yucky, yucky. Now I just need to um, pull all this crud out and clean it.
All right, that's officially, I'm going to call that my official first day on the interior. We've got it all out. I've cleaned inside. Uh, I've not, not done a detailed clean. I've cleaned just underneath the old um, underlay and the just general, I don't know, clean. I'm yet to do, I was going to start putting the carpet in, but I want to actually, the interior hinges... The hinges on the door, I'm losing light, so I'm going to pull it up for today anyway. It looks like it's going to storm. Um, that's why I've got this on. <laughs> um, I want to, before, let's have a look if we can get this. So you can see with my head torch there, all right. Those hinges everywhere, these are good actually. I've given them a light clean, but I want to water blast those with, the, uh, with some degreaser and obviously the little gurney. So I don't want to have the carpet in there if I'm going to be water blasting these edges of the doors. I'm going to call it quits for today and uh, we'll hit this again tomorrow. New day's dawn, I'm back home and I'm going to get stuck into this old girl again. Um, I'm going to water blast the door hinges, maybe even clean the uh, carpet on the lower part of the door cards. So I'm not going to muck around, let's get straight into it. Spray the door hinges, sills, and the bottom of the door cards where the fabric is with a good heavy duty cleaner. And just lightly and quickly water blast it all. No harm done, angle the nozzle away as much as possible, and then mop it up later. Straight away you can see those hinges are not as grotty. And that's just a little bit of moisture there. That'll mop up with the towel, which I do have. Some water had pooled, so I popped the drain plugs out, wiped it down with a rag, grabbed a heat gun just to be sure to dry those hard to get out places. And of course, when the water blaster is out, you've got to do the obligatory garage wash down. Get all that crap out of there. Got all the underlay in, four simple pieces, cut to, cut to match. I've placed them in, gave them a quick clean. And I have slipped the little bit of black carpet, any of those who observe it, you would have seen that in there earlier. I have uh, punched just the tiniest of holes around the um, shifter. And I laid the old carpet over the top. Where is it? I took that before it got wet. And I laid it over the top of the existing carpet as if it was already still there and I marked where the hole should go and there's two little slots that allow the console to be uh, the console to be screwed down I'm not going to show you the whole bit of the carpet, you know the gist now, most of that's in. I'm gluing in what I can, where I can. If we have a close look, I overcut this a little bit, a bit pissed about that. Um, but the frame for the chair will sit in there and the chair will sit out to about here, so that's not going to be a problem. Um, I've glued the top up here. I've got it all laid in, um, trimmed, everything's pretty much trimmed and ready to rock and roll. Looks good, doesn't it? I've even got the foot, um, the accelerator pedal in. That was a little funky because it doesn't 
the rubber mat doesn't quite line up with the <laughs> accelerator, so be it. Um, I might even have to trim that a tad more by the looks of it. The only thing I haven't done is up under the steering column. I, uh, you can see there, it loops around the steering column. I'm, I'm going to just sit on that for a minute and think about that. I don't want to just hack into it and have another folded bit of carpet there. But other than that, it's pretty good. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to try and pump out videos quicker or sooner rather than later. It's been uh, about a month, I think, by the time I get this video out. Carpet's in. We're going to crack those seats next time. I want to really uh, make sure they're thoroughly clean and get them in first before we do anything else. Oh, briefly too, I do have someone who's interested in the car. Um, I've told them a figure. <laughs> so it's nice to know that uh, somebody's interested. Uh, probably underpriced it a little bit, but I don't want to be greedy and I do want to get rid of the car as soon as it's done. It's taken probably a little longer than I anticipated. So yeah, um, catch you next time. Rip into it. Find it, buy it, fix it, flip it. That's the name of the game. See ya. How bad is this? Anybody out there have a 504 steering wheel for me? Because she is ugly. Not too bad, the, the movement in it, but that's just feral, look at that. So yeah, anyone got a 504 wheel? Let me know.